Hey there YouTubers, staying strong with Excel VBA is fun. In this lesson I'd like to show you how to loop through several different worksheets. And you can uh, do anything you want with them. But you can loop through all the worksheets in the this workbook object. And I'll show you how to do that using Visual Basic. It's really easy. Um, as you can see down here, I'm going to zoom in right here, but I'm just going to make a couple sheets here. <coughs> Help. There may be a data sheet, and there may be a, I don't know, whatever other sheet. Um, yeah, so there's plenty of random sheet names here. So we have several. Okay, here's how to do it. Hit Alt F11, of course, to get into your Visual Basic Editor. <coughs> this is pretty much a brand new worksheet. I'm going to open, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to... Uh, create a new module by clicking there and we're going to give our first macro a name um, how about cycle through workbooks WBs you can name this anything you'd like so um, we're gonna have our um, our worksheet variable we could declare that you don't have to I'm going to declare WS as a worksheet. Uh, again, that's not necessary, but it sure helps. And then we'll have to use WS when we're referring to the specific worksheet that we're using. So, here's the line of code. We're going to do a for loop. Let me get my email notifier to go away really quick. Okay, um, our for loop is for each, and again, we're going to use WS. We can use anything there for each worksheet in this workbook dot sheets and there's your loop and then of course at some point at the end you need to say next ws or next blah or next whatever your variable is called and we know we're telling excel right here that each of those are going to be a worksheet so let's hit f8 and cycle through each step of this Okay, so for each WS, as I hover over WS right now, it's nothing. But whenever we initiate, let's let's say stop. Uh, so each that way it'll go here each time before it goes to the next worksheet. So right now it's nothing. As I hit F8, we see that the the first worksheet has now been declared. It's not telling me the name of it, but we could. I'm going to debug dot print and that will simply put uh, the items as they come in the immediate window in the immediate window down here uh, so that's really handy um, if you don't have the immediate window you can hit control G and you'll have it anyway uh, so for each worksheet in this work this workbook dot sheets we're going to debug dot print and then you put a space and you tell it whatever you want it to debug how about ws dot name the current worksheet dot name feature and as you can see the, uh, there was a lot of things that came up after I declared ws and after it was set to the first sheet there was dot activate dot blah 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 anything associated with the first sheet which would be sheet one down here you can now assign different things but anyway we just want to get the dot name feature so we're going to debug dot print it you'll see that it will appear right here so let's scooch this up I'm going to hit F8 so there's the first one sheet one now I'm going to hit F8 now we're on the next one so uh, sure enough it's sheet two and I'm going to hit F5 and just show you that it's going to run through the entire thing really quickly F5 so there it is sheet one two three four B A L H, which I misspelled, blah, help, data sheet, and Cape Girardeau. So there's all our sheets. Now I'm going to add another one, another three, just to test it. Now let's erase the immediate window, and I'm going to hit F5 in this cycle through thing here. Hit F5. So now we've got all these sheets in the immediate window. In fact, I could take this, Control C, and I'll paste it right there. And it conveniently enough puts that in all these different rows. So that's kind of cool. And those who have been studying loops and been studying how to, you know, put that on a worksheet, obviously you could have it automatically <coughs> pop into a worksheet of your choice if you're doing this often. 
So um, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in this lesson. Instead of debug.print the worksheet name, we could, uh, first of all, we need to say that y equals row 2 because we want to start on row 2 and maybe have a title, um, a header row right here. So let's go ahead and wait on my computer to take forever. Sorry. Okay. <coughs> So y is going to be 2, I'm going to put a comment that that's our starting row, okay? So then, and that's before it loops. Then, each time it loops, y is going to be equal to itself plus 1. That means it's jumping to the next row after it's completed, okay? So instead of debug.print going down here, I'm going to take that part out. And what I want the worksheet name to be in is the, um, in this case, we're using sheet 11, so this workbook dot sheets, and it's sheet 11 does not have to be in capital. I'm just trying to hurry. Uh, dot cells. Okay, y comma one. Now I'm going to explain what just happened there for those who haven't seen my other lessons. We've declared this workbook and then the sheets and then this is the actual sheet name is sheet 11 the the actual cell I want is pinpointed by this variable so it's going to be row y which is 2 in the beginning and then it'll be 3 and then 4 uh, so row uh, 2 at the beginning and column 1 that's actually cell a2 and then the next time it loops through after y is y plus 1 it'll be more so anyway, uh, that's my spiel. Let's hit F5, and I will show you that it should appear right there. I'm going to hit it now. Okay, so there it is. There's, uh, everything has been placed in this uh, sheet 11. So, but be careful if you rename sheet 11 like I just did. Um, this won't work. It's going to say, you know, where is that sheet 11 that you're talking about? And then you're going to have to go, oh, well, it's actually called E-R-E-R -E -R now. And then if you hit F5, well, you probably didn't see it, except for it changed sheet 11 to ERER. -E -R. So that's how you can loop through every sheet. If you wanted, you could also say, I'm going to comment this part out. And I'm going to say ws.hide, or um, dot .visible equals false. So ooh, what that would actually do is it would try to hide every sheet and then at the very end it would say well you have to have one sheet that's unhidden so that would give an error too. Let's do that. Hit F5. So they're going to say method visible of object worksheet failed and if I hit debug I see that well you know you can't have nothing visible no sheets so the last one is going to be a dud so you'd have to um, you'd have to make up for that by you know if x equals you know something or other if there's only one sheet left then don't do it anymore or something or on error resume next would even probably just not even bring up that error so anyway that's my spiel i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching